surfers, there is plenty of people thinking about jumping in the water, right? <laughs> but we don't encourage you to jump in the wild in the water at the Wildlife World Zoo. We are joined by Christy Markham, and somebody told me we had some chocolate chips. So I'm thinking chocolate chip pancakes, something like that. I walk over there, there's nothing to eat. What's going on? So these are chocolate chip sea stars. Okay. And uh, sea stars have actually been around for over half a billion years. Wow. So you're looking at a piece of history, and they're fascinating animals. People really, a lot of people are clueless to how amazing these creatures really are. Okay, you were saying uh, they call them sea stars, but what, what's the whole discrepancy in their... Yes, yeah, so a lot of people, they call them starfish. Starfish, there and, we go. Uh, and I even catch myself calling them starfish, but the correct term is sea star because technically they're not a fish. They're part of the uh, echinoderm family along with this pen pencil urchin that's in the tank as well. And guests can actually come out to Wildlife World Zoo and we have these creatures in the touch tank so kids can actually feel them and experience them firsthand. How big do these things get? So these chocolate chip sea stars can actually get over a foot in diameter. Wow. They can get over 12 inches. And you can see, it's easy to see how they get the name star because they're shaped like a little star. But some species can actually grow over 50 limbs. Wow. So are these babies? Or? They are. They are. Okay. Yeah, these are just little babies. And a really fascinating fact about sea stars is they can actually reproduce asexually. What that means is that if one of these sea stars were to lose a limb, that limb would turn into a sea star and they could regenerate their limb. That's so, incredible. Yeah, they can reproduce all by themselves. Uh -huh. The only catch is they have to make sure that the limb that uh, comes off has part of the nervous ring that's in the center. And as right long as it middle. has that vital material, they can produce another sea star. All right. Now tell me more about this guy here. So there's about 200 different species of pencil urchins. People can come out. They can pet them. Now these little spines that they have are mainly for looks. Can I touch them? Yeah, you can touch them. Um, it's to make themselves look less appetizing uh -huh. to predators out there. They're hard. Yeah, they are. And so a lot of animals out there, when they see those spikes, they know better. They don't want to mess uh, with the urchins. Um, and they'll eat things like algae and stuff like that. Now, the sea stars will eat things like clams and oysters. And what they will do is use the little tube feet they have on their dorsal side. They'll open up that clam they'll insert their stomach and they'll digest the clam outside of their body and then pull their stomach back in. And that allows them to eat things larger than their mouth. These are incredible creatures, yes. both in here. <laughs> uh, amazingly, I spike up my hair for the same thing, so, so, so nobody messes with me. Wildlife World Zoo, a lot of fun to be had, and I'm guessing these exhibits are indoors? They are, they're inside our perfect. aquarium. Yep. Perfect, perfect. It's time to get indoors, folks.